Yeah, it's a bunch of time again. I know the leaves get really noisy in the video. Just doing a, a day hike. Might turn into an overnight. I'm not sure if I'm gonna stay out here tonight or not. I got all stuff with me if I do. But uh should only be six miles. So they left the last one. Ends up in 12 miles. Um apparently there's a little fishing spot at the end of this trail I'm going on. So I'm gonna check that out, see if I can find it. Got my pole with me. A little chilly out today. So where we're at right now, probably in the low 50s, maybe upper 40s. Uh, dropped down into the 20s overnight tonight, so we'll be a bit chilly for staying out here. In my head, I fear that the thoughts build up until I can't hear that my mind fills up into a creature and it haunts me somewhere much deeper. Anxiety, filling up every space, no privacy. And silently, we can build and build until you find the sea. Whoa, it's taking over, damn, no closure, moving closer. No exposure, I just wanna be a loner. Uh, some can't stay sober, looking over all their shoulders. Like moving boulders just to get out of the home It sucks, I've had enough I don't want to feel the stuck Under the rug, all my problems that I shove I got nightmares So I got down here The river Went a couple mile hike Brought it down there, so I'm going to a big climb back out I'd say It'll probably end up being about 2,000 feet of climbing back out At least, maybe 1,500 but uh, this water is just gorgeous, cold. It's so clear though, you can see. How we do this? Now looking this vertical climb out. Here it going. Oh. straight up, folks. Let's do it. Yeah. I've been walking up and down this bank, got out for some fishing spots, but uh, we'll be good at certain times of the year. But in the book I'm reading, you know, they say they can see the trout stuff going up the stream. There's no trout, I can't see anything in there right now. It's crystal clear, so you can see no fish. So, um, I think when they wrote that, it was in like the summertime or spring. So they are not up the stupid creek right now. So I'm not gonna waste time fishing for no fish over there since you can see them. Uh, it's getting a little late. We we're fighting against the sun. We got a big climb out of here. It's only a couple miles, but there's gonna be a lot of climbing. Uh, so I got the shirt dried off enough. Put it back on. I gotta find the trail again. And then we're gonna start our scent out of here. And hopefully get back. We should get back right before it gets dark. All right, the hike is over. It's about five miles, a little over a thousand feet elevation. Felt a little more elevation. Than that. I felt like it was more about 14, 1500 feet. I don't know how accurate my watch is sometimes. It just uh, sometimes it seems like I'm walk, I'm going up, 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 and I look at my watch and it's like you've climbed four feet. Okay, so, okay that was a lot more than four feet. Anyway. So, finished up the hike, it's about 349, temps are down in the 40s, um, bigger because of the time it is, see if I can catch a little sunset over Lake Jacassi on jumping off rock up here, I'm driving up to that, check that out, and then uh, we'll head back home, kind of nice, seems like fall went by so fast this year, it was just like, Seems like it was summer yesterday, and now it's like Thanksgiving's coming up, and leaves are all gone, and, you know, heading straight into winter. I mean, I know winter doesn't officially start until, like, the week before Christmas, or the week of Christmas, but, you know, once, winter, it's, it's kind of, you know, really, it, it's winter once all the leaves are gone. That's kind of how it is here. That's how I feel. You got fall, then the leaves are changing, they get all the colors, but once the leaves are all gone, and it's just the sticks, that's winter, you know, because it stays that way until spring. Everything starts growing back. Yeah. All right, 
So now I am way back here off of Horse Pasture. This is the Cane Creek Road. It was normally gated off, but the gate was open. And the map shows that this should take me to the highway. So I'm just trying to find a way out that I don't have to drive all the way back. But it is very obvious that this part of the trail does not get used a lot. It should be. My biggest fear is I'm going to come up <coughs> right before where the road is and they're going to have a gate there blocking it off. See the road right there. And as I feared, oh man, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Can I get around it? I don't want to drive all the way back up this, but I can't get through here. It's gonna be dark. No. I think it's this more gnarly part before it gets dark. They didn't put no outlet on the sign up there. Like it made it seem like there was a way out. And this one is open. Which also looks like it leads to a road. I made it out. I didn't have to drive all the way back. I went down that gun range, whatever road, and uh, that gate was open. So I got out that way enough to have to drive all the way back. Now, where am I at now? I have no idea. Uh, not nearly Kiwi. But I don't, some of this looks familiar. I'll figure it out. Got all this one done. That was fun. A little five mile hike, thousand feet of elevation, followed by a little back roads uh, adventure in there. Um, GX got a good little workout. And uh, we're going to head home and uh, chillax. So the next one.